Hey, um, this is Journal 17, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And the prompt is, what are a few things I would change, slash what was done really well, in the day two of Stranger Than Fiction dailies. And so, I had nothing to do with, um, with filming Stranger Than Fiction. I was prepping for Young Victoria. Um, three things that I would change, just because they're more fresh in my mind. I think it was really well done. Uh, a few things I would change is change are, though, is um, at some points I think it would have been easier. I mean, I understand why the camera was handheld because we wanted to follow Jack as he stood up and walked over. I think some sort of apparatus to put the camera on, whether it's a tripod or that, I don't even know what it's called, but that thing like what Wiley had for Young Victoria that it's put, you put it over your shoulders and the camera's here. Um, I think that would have worked pretty well because at some points, especially I'm just thinking about um, in the beginning, with following Jack, it's kind of unsteady and um, a little distracting. I mean, I'm sure it could probably be fixed in editing at least a little bit, but um, that, I guess, I, the point is, I think it could have been a little prevented. Um, sorry. Um, number two, the focus, at some points, you can see the, the Jack and also Olivia, they're kind of going in and out of focus. And, um, that happens with Young Victoria, too. It, you know, it happens, you know, the the cinematographer trying to figure out, you know, what to focus on, and is are we even in focus to begin with, and if the actor's coming closer to you or backing up, you know, or how, you know, are they still in focus? Um, so it happens, and there's still plenty of footage that um, it was going to be fine, but I would, I would just say it would kind of eliminate having to take do so many takes if maybe the focus was set up prior. And also at some points, um, the framing is a little off in that someone, one of the actors will be talking and then all of a sudden like, they'll lean down, either to like, get up or pick something up, and like half of their face will go out of frame. So obviously a different shot's going to have to be used. I think maybe if the cinematographer, I forget who shot that, doesn't really matter, but if they stood back a little bit or zoomed out a little bit, just, I mean, we can still see them close up, but just so that they had room, like, room to move within the frame, I think that would have helped. Um, but other than that, I mean, those are the three things, and that's really the only thing, things I can think of changing. Um, things that were well done, uh, the 180 rule is spot on, that was pretty, pretty neat. Um, the focus, once it's in focus, the focus is phenomenal, and, um, the the actors are like perfectly placed and it's it's really cool you know once it's like one of those things of once you get what you want it's it's perfect and also the lighting was awesome um, it wasn't too harsh but it it's really well lit and it's really hard working in the blue theater because of the walls being blue and if lights reflect off them and whatever and I know when we were filming Young Victoria there's a few shots we had to completely redo because um, Liz and Isaac were totally blown out by the light, so kudos to them because that it turned out really great, and I'm so excited to see it edited together because I think it's going to look awesome, and they did a great job. So that is Journey of Fiction. Thanks. Bye.